Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the neutral axis, the compression and the tension zone for a cantilever beam. So we are interested to define these terms for a cantilever beam. So here, if I take an example here of the cantilever beam, which is a beam which is only supported by a fixed support at the one end of the beam, such type of the beam is known as a cantilever beam. Which is only supported at one end, at one end and the one end is a fixed support so here we see a fixed support so this is known as a cantilever type of the beam now if when there is a load acting on this beam for example the uniformly distributed load acting on this beam so this beam will show some deflection or some bending and it will look like this And its behavior will be like this under the loading. So here at the top, at the top of the beam, it will be stressed, it will be extend, expanded, and its length. So we will have tensile stresses in the beam at the top of at the top section of the beam, tensile stresses, and at the bottom the length is contracted. You can see the length is contracted, so we will have compressive stresses at the bottom of the cantilever beam. So compression always lead to the contraction of the beam while the tensile stresses always lead to the extension of the beam or expanding at the length of the beam. So this, this, is, this will be the general behavior of the cantilever beam where the top portion of the beam will be in tension and the bottom will be in compression. Now if you, we have to define the zones in the neutral axis for a cantilever beam. So at the top there will be tension here. So if I draw this. So the maximum tensile stresses will be at the top section of the beam. This is the cross section for this cantilever beam. If I cut this beam at the midpoint here, at the mid section, so this cross section will look like this, where we will have maximum tensile stresses at the top of the beam here, and then it will decrease and decrease with the depth. So the tensile stresses will decrease, decrease, and there will there will be a point where there will be zero stresses in the beam and this point or this axis is known as the neutral axis of the beam. So neutral axis are the axis of the beam where there are no compressive stresses or no tensile stresses. This is the axis free of the any stresses. Similarly, after the neutral axis, the compression zone will start. So this was completely a tension zone completely a tension zone of the cantilever and after the compression zone we have a neutral axis dip neutral axis and then after this we will have a new zone which is the tension zone so this zone will be completely tension uh, sorry the compression zone compression zone for the cantilever beam and in this case the maximum compressive stresses will be at the extreme bottom here at the extreme bottom fibers we will have maximum compressive stresses and then again it will decrease, decrease, decrease with the depth of the beam and at the neutral axis there will be zero tensile stresses. So the maximum compressive stresses will be here at the extreme fiber, extreme bottom fiber and at the extreme top fiber we will have maximum tension or tensile stresses. We have maximum tensile stresses at the extreme top fiber of the beam here at this portion of the beam. So these were the different of uh, uh, parameters or technical terms in the uh, bending of the beam and the load is acting on the beam. So it shows a different behavior than the uh, simply supported beam. Here at the top we will have tension zone and at the bottom we will have compression zone. That's why we always provide the steel bars at the uh, top of the cantilever beam. We don't provide the steel bars at the bottom of the beam in the case of the cantilever because our tension zone at the top so we always provide the steel bar where there is a tension because steel bars have high tensile, uh, high tensile stress as compared to the concrete so where we have tensile stresses we always provide the reinforcement there so that's why the reinforcement bars are always provided at the top of the cantilever beam not like the simply supported beam so hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video